all right guys uh, this is a continuation video for our uh, vpc so as you have seen uh, when we connected to our public subnet instance so then when you connected to uh, like you know right so now i'm in my public subnet instance and uh, let me quickly get connected to my private subnet so basically we don't have uh, internet in private subnet ec2 instances so with the help of a component called nat gateway we can provide internet so now i'm in private subnet ec2 instance all right so now let's run duplicate google.com now to test internet connectivity you can see here it's connecting to google.com so but um, it's not succeeded now let's go to the vpc and let's create a nat gateway associate that nat gateway to our private uh, subnet root table so then we will verify whether we are able to get internet or not so basically this nat gateway runs in our custom vpc's public subnet and that provide internet to private subnet ec2 instances so now I'm in NAT gateways, click on create NAT gateway. So I'm going to call this as my custom VPC NAT gateway. And in what subnet you want to uh, run this. So I'm going to choose my custom VPC's public subnet. So you can choose either 1A or 1B, or you can create one in 1A and another one is in 1B. And connectivity type, I'm going to select public and it required an elastic IP address. If you don't have an elastic IP address, click on allocate elastic IP option. Automatically, it create one. And one thing you always need to remember, deleting this NAT gateway won't delete the elastic IP address it generated. You manually need to go to EC2 screen. So then you need to release this elastic IP address once you are done with the practice so this elastic ip address won't come under free tier eligibility create nat gateway fine one nat gateway is created and it is in pending state so once it's in um, active state we can uh, start using it but before that let's navigate to root tables and add a root to private routes see you remember one thing public root already have a root with the help of uh, internet gateway so these all subnets can access internet so you really no need to add another component that also provide internet to public root so go to private root navigate to routes so add the nat gateway we have created click on edit routes add a new route I'm going to allow all the traffic from internet with NAT gateway. You see here, we are able to find that NAT gateway, click on save changes. That's it. Now NAT gateway is added to the private subnet associated root table. So what are all the resources running in these two subnets that will get internet with the help of NAT. So just double check whether the creation is completed or not before testing it it's still in pending state so as i told you once you um, done with this lab and if you don't want to have this nat gateway so then you go to ec2 dashboard you have an option called elastic ips you see here one elastic IP address is generated and this is associated to our NAT gateway. So make sure you manually release this after your lab. All right. So this NAT is still taking some time. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it's already started working. You see earlier whenever we tried to give double get it stopped here at connecting to google.com only. So, but now you see here, whenever we are trying to connect, it's able to connect successfully and that too, we are in the private subnet. 
uh, running EC2 instance. So our private subnet EC2 instance also able to access internet with the help of this NAT gateway. If you are worrying about cost of this NAT gateway, you want to practice this NAT mechanism, but you are worrying to pay for this uh, NAT or for this elastic IP address, we do have an alternative option called NAT instance. So let me quickly delete this and let me explain NAT instance now. So type delete to delete this. All right, it's deleting. As I already mentioned, make sure you release elastic IP address. This started deleting. So that means it uh, internet should stop working. You can observe that here. Now when I run duplicate google.com, it's not working. All right. So that is what uh, NAT gateway mechanism is. So the alternative for this NAT gateway is NAT instance. So launch an EC2 instance that's specifically designed to perform NAT operations. Then add that to root table. Navigate to launch instances and call it as, a, I'm calling it as a NAT instance. Click on browse more AMIs and you search for NAT here. All right, um, again, uh, I'm not really looking for this. Navigate to community AMIs to find the appropriate one. So I'm going with this Amazon AMI VPC NAT. Click on select. Then scroll down, I'm going to choose T2 micro and you can go and choose any key pair and make sure this also run in our custom VPC public subnet just like our um, NAT gateway and we should have an auto assign public IP address to enable and I'm going to create a new security group and make sure you open HTTP and HTTPS traffic from anywhere for this NAT. Why? Because this NAT instance is going to work as an intermediate one. So it should support such HTTP and HTTPS protocols in security group level. Otherwise, we cannot access internet. Right, so now we have launched a NAT instance. Also, we need to take care about one more thing. These NAT instances should disable with source or destination check. So these NAT instances should not behave as a source or target for the traffic it is delivering to EC2 instance or traffic it's sending outside world. So for that, select the NAT instance navigate to actions under networking you can find an option called change source or destination check select that and select the stop option then click on save now this NAT instance configuration is completed we can go and we can modify the appropriate root table to use this NAT instance all right, but before that, let me release the Elastic IP. So I'm selecting the Elastic IP, release Elastic IP address. So we are good with the NAT gateway deletion part. It's already deleted. We release at Elastic IP address. All right, now navigate to root table, select the private root, navigate to roots and the existing root, it's showing as a black hole. Click on edit roots, remove that black hole one add a root allowing everything via instance and select the nat instance then click on save changes all right so now go to private subnet instance and try to run duplicate google.com you see here it's working fine so we are able to access internet from our private subnet instance with the help of this NAT 
instance. So not instance is not a commonly used option in production environments. Well, various reasons. Uh, you know, if traffic um, count is increasing, if traffic volume is increasing, we need to scale up this EC2 instance. And uh, it's an additional management thing to maintain EC2 instance just to provide internet. So that's a reason in most of the uh, environments, we prefer to go with the NAT gateways over NAT instances. All right, so that is all about uh, NAT that provide internet to private subnet resources. Thanks for watching this video guys.